Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be going to discuss the MCQs of the cell structure, which is the topic of AS level biology 9700. Let's start. MCQ number 45. What are always present in prokaryote cells? So guys, this MCQ means that what are the structures or what is the structure that is always present in the bacteria or we can say a structure which will be found in all the bacteria. So guys, the answer is ribosomes. You should know that ribosomes are found in all the bacteria. Whereas the structures like the capsules, flagella, pili, they are found in some bacteria. They are not always present or always seen in the prokaryotes. Let's move on to the next MCQ, that is MCQ number 46. The following are all features of eukaryotic cells. Which of these have a double membrane? So guys, you should know that chloroplast is a double membrane bound organelle, mitochondrion is a double membrane bound organelle, and nucleus is a double membrane bound organelle. So uh, the answer should be one, four, and five. The answer should be C. Endoplasmic reticulum and lysosomes are single membrane bound organelles. Single membrane bound organelles. Right, let's move on to the next MCQ, MCQ number 47. Which structure is present in all eukaryotic cells but not present in prokaryotic cells? Okay, so guys, uh, 70s ribosomes are present in all, pro uh, all eukaryotic cells as well as all prokaryotic cells. So this could not be the option. Cell wall is not present in all eukaryotic cells. If we talk about chromatin, so yes, chromatin is present in all eukaryotic cells and chromatin is absent in the prokaryotic cells. That's because chromatin is DNA associated with histones. So you guys should know that the prokaryotes, they do not have histones, right? The prokaryotic cells, they do not have histone. The DNA in the prokaryotic cells is naked and is not associated with histones. Whereas the nuclear DNA in eukaryotic cells is associated with histones or is folded on histones. So chromatin is only found in eukaryotes. If we talk about plasmids, plasmids are found in prokaryotic cells but not in eukaryotes. Let's move on to MCQ number 48. Which row correctly identifies all the locations of ribosomes in a eukaryotic cell? So guys, if we talk about eukaryotes, ribosomes are found freely in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes are also found inside the mitochondria, which are 70th ribosomes in the eukaryotes. Ribosomes are also attached to the ER, making it rough, or we can say rough endoplasmic reticulum. Um, ribosomes are also attached to the outer nuclear membrane. So we can say ribosomes are attached to the nuclear envelope or they are attached to the outer membrane of the nucleus. And ribosomes are also found inside the nucleus because uh, inside the nucleus, there are structures called nucleoli and which uh, are actually the sites of ribosome synthesis. So you should know that nucleoli inside the nucleus, they synthesize ribosomes. So the answer will be A. Let's move on to MCQ number 49. What is the function of the nucleoli? Uh, as I just mentioned in the last MCQ, that what is the uh, function of the nucleoli? Nucleoli are the sites of ribosome synthesis. So answer will be C, right? Let's move on to MCQ number 50. Which organelles are required for the formation of hydrolytic enzymes found in the lysosomes? Right, so guys, uh, if hydrolytic enzymes have to be synthesized, so because these are the enzymes and all enzymes are proteins, right? So we know that proteins are synthesized on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Um, proteins can also be synthesized on the free ribosomes in the cytoplasm, but these are hydrolytic enzymes that are found in the lysosomes. So remember, if any uh, enzyme that is found in the lysosomes is made in the cell, it is always made in the RER, right? So RER obviously uh, is involved in the formation of uh, hydrolytic enzyme found in the lysosomes and Golgi apparatus is also involved because Golgi apparatus will package these enzymes into vesicles that will make lysosomes and mitochondria are also involved because to make the enzymes for protein synthesis, amino acids uh, need to be joined and for that ATP or energy are required, 
right? So uh, as we know that when the enzyme, when the proteins are synthesized and they are packaged, they are modified and they are transported, all this requires ATP. So mitochondria are involved in the protein synthesis in such a way that they provide energy or ATP. So all the three organelles are involved in the formation of hydrolytic enzymes found in the lysosomes. So the answer will be A. Let's move on to MCQ number 51. The electron micrograph shows a part of an animal cell, right? What will be synthesized in large quantities in this cell? So guys, we can see that these cells contain what? These cells contain many mitochondria. We can see a lot of mitochondria. And mitochondria, as we all know, produce what? ATP. So ATP will be synthesized in large quantities in these cells. So we can take ATP. What about glucose? Glucose cannot be uh, synthesized in large quantities in these cells because this is an animal cell and not a plant cell. And animal cells lack chloroplast. Obviously, photosynthesis does not occur in the animal cell and the glucose will not be made in large quantities. What about RNA? Guys, we can see that these cells contain a lot of RER. So these uh, lines that we see or these sacs uh, that we see are RER, right? And as we all know that RER are the sites of protein synthesis and for the synthesis of proteins, messenger RNA are required, right? And other forms of RNA are required as well. So RNAs will be produced in large quantities in these cells. So the answer will be C, 1 and 3 only. Okay, let's move on to MCQ number 52. Which statements about a typical eukaryotic cell are correct? So they are talking about typical eukaryotic cell. It is smaller than 2 micrometers? No. The size of the typical uh, eukaryotic cell is 20 to 40 micrometer, right? So it's not smaller than 2 micrometers. It has a nucleolus, yes. Uh, all the eukaryotic cells have nuclei and uh, all the typical, basically, all the typical uh, eukaryotic cells have nuclei and inside the nuclei, there are nu nucleoli as well. Or we can say uh, nucleolus, uh, nucleolus is present in the nucleus. It has linear DNA, yes, because all the typical eukaryotic cells have uh, the nucleus which contains the linear DNA. It ha only has small 70s ribosomes, no. Uh, the eukaryotes have both the 70s and the 80s ribosomes, right? 70s ribosomes are smaller and 80s ribosomes are larger. So the eukaryotes contain both small and large ribosomes, so this is wrong. The answer will be C, 2 and 3 only. MCQ number 53, which animal cells would have the most Golgi apparatus? So guys, remember that a cell that contains most Golgi apparatus is basically a secretory cell, which is secreting what? Secretory cell, which is usually secreting what? Um, proteins or glycoproteins. Secretory cell which secretes proteins or glycoproteins, which secretes proteins or glycoproteins, Means proteins or glycoproteins. So basically, always remember this thing that uh, the cell which will contain the most Golgi apparatus is usually a cell that is a secretory cell that is producing and secreting proteins or glycoproteins. So the answer should be B, goblet cell. As we all know that goblet cell uh, secretes mucus and mucus uh, is made up of glycoproteins. So goblet cells have uh, most number of the Golgi apparatus, or we can say gol uh, goblet cells contain extensive Golgi apparatus or most Golgi apparatus. If we talk about the ciliated epithelial cells and the smooth muscle cells, they contain most mitochondria. Why? Because these are these cells are active cells and they need a lot of ATP. So these cells contain most mitochondria because the ciliated epithelial cells, what they do, they have cilia which move and sweep the mucus. Smooth muscle cells contract and for that they require ATP. Ciliated epithelial cells in these cells, the cilia move and they require ATP. If we talk about red blood cells, so guys, red blood cells do not have any organelles. Red blood cell just contains the cytoplasm in which there is hemoglobin. Right.